I mean, you're one of the most accomplished commissioners of a Department of Transportation in, in recent history in, in the United States. I mean, you went into DC, whole slew of innovations there, uh, bike share, putting in the first protected bike lanes, um, transit innovations, and then you went to, to Chicago and did a lot of those things. And again, huge amount of innovation, very quickly, all worked really well. As I was reading the book, I, I thought like, well, I mean, you had a couple things in common in both cases, is that you had you know, really driven, innovative, honest mayors who were looking to get things done, who were you know, willing to hire someone yeah. who, was, who was innovative, willing to you know, ruffle feathers, stand behind mm -hmm. you when things got tough, because it, inevitably it does. Thank you for the compliment, because that, that means a lot. And you know, it was very tough work. Those were the two hardest jobs that I've ever done, but also two of the most rewarding jobs. And I do have to give those two mayors, Mayor Adrian Fenty and, and Mayor Rahm Emanuel, a lot of credit, because they chose somebody that was not the norm. You know, and I think that's actually a big part of the recipe. And I think you know, picking somebody that comes at the problem with a different point of view uh, is very important. Um, you know, not the same sort of engineering viewpoint, you know, it's sort of someone who came up through the ranks or not somebody who's getting the job for a political favor, you know, but somebody who has passion, somebody who understands how to manage. This was also a pretty magical time. Um, you know, the president was coming in uh, when I got my job in Washington, D.C. It was obvious that there was going to be a sea change in terms of urban policy in the United States and a real focus on cities again. Uh, and so that was very helpful. I would say that federal DOT, uh, at least from an administrative and policy standpoint, was a real partner to us in D.C. and Chicago. So one of the things that yeah. I think really helped you be such a huge success in your job is that you had a vision for what cities could be that was beyond just, I'm moving cars. And public space is a big part of that. It's interesting that, I mean, what we're looking at here, this isn't transportation at all, yet somehow, because right. it's street space, now transportation commissioners have to know this stuff. Totally, and, and I think it's also your view of what transportation is. And historically, we think of transportation as cars, buses, trains, and it's also walking. Uh, and I think that when I came into the job, I realized like, wow, we control like a third of the public space in the city with these streets, and it's all allocated to cars. And I learned a lot. You know, I listened to a lot of advocates that have been advocating for years in Washington. I learned from Streets Blog, and uh, it, it was very helpful to sort of get immersed and become part of that movement. I also grew up as a cyclist. You know, I grew up from the age of five, working in bike stores, loving bikes. So. To me, it just it came naturally to reimagine streets around uh, people, 